And just like that, we are back on Blue Moon. Oh, it feels so good to be back. I love these really warm and dry mornings. Often when we wake up, I think because the temperatures drop so low overnight or something to do with the humidity, there's a lot of dew on the boat. And every once in a while, usually if it's clouded over at night or the temperatures don't drop below like 12 degrees Celsius-ish, I know it, there's all sorts of factors, but um, we just wake up and the cabin is dry, the cockpit is dry, and the air is so warm. Yeah, they're for sure my favorite mornings. It's so calm too. I can almost see, I can see the breeze coming in though, which will spin us around pretty quick here. But I love waking up before the breeze comes in and before we've spun for the day. See, there it is, we're starting to spin now, as with all the other boats in the marina. I've always found that just such a cool and amazing cycle of every single morning without fail.
Oh my goodness, this is good. Summer has been really fantastic and it's flying by unbelievably fast. We're always so busy in the summertime between work and road trips and sailing trips and just we're on the move a lot in the summer, which is my favorite time of year and my favorite thing to do. I love being on the move constantly. <laughs> and it's exhausting, but overall, I just, I really, really appreciate that. And then we take the winters to kind of hunker down and we take that as our, more of our hibernation time. And we sort of hunker in place, if you will. So in the summertime we live like, it's like a 30-30 split between the van, the boat, and then often we're visiting family and staying with them somewhere. Oh, there's the, should we show them that? Sure, yeah. There's a spill response boat here. It's called Krabby. The it's name is Krabby. Cute. It'll come by in a minute. There it is. There's Krabby. <laughs> you don't want to see Krabby. No, you don't. It's a good Means thing they're out in the gone wrong. <laughs> Usually we need to be in the van to, to do our summer work in the city. We would stay, but the moorage for the boat uh, gets really, really expensive. And then we come out to the boat as much as we can. And then we spend a lot of time with our family uh, in different parts of the country, which we love doing as well. Yeah, and on the note of the van, we actually, I'm so excited about this. We did build it out earlier this summer and in two days, like it was a very quick van build. We didn't film much of it. A modest build. Um, very modest, but just so much better than what we had. So we are going to put out a van tour video um, once we film the van tour video, but yeah, the van is looking so much better and it's just so much cozier and it just it's been really nice like i i'm so torn between being able to live in the van and sleeping in different places every night and going on road trips and sort of exploring the land compared to the boat which is really just exploring the ocean and the coast and living truly off-grid and yeah, I'm always torn between those two, and so one thing that I love in the summer is that we can do both. That also means that we're a little more sporadic with our videos, so if you notice over the past couple months, for various reasons, we've been either late getting them out or we've missed some weeks. We are trying to get back on track, and hopefully by the time this video comes out, we will we'll be, be back, back on track. Our <laughs> rhythm. Yeah. That's just, I mean, it was a similar thing last summer. We're either out of service or we don't have enough power to charge my laptop, which is our editing laptop, but yeah. yeah. We get asked why we don't sail more often. The main answer is that we had to work. We get glimpses of what it would be like to spend our whole summer on the boat. The weekends are always really busy. <laughs> we get glimpses of what it would be like to spend our whole summer on the boat, but at this point in our life, it's just not feasible. If we won the lottery or <laughs> if, you, if the YouTube channel blows up, <laughs> although we, we don't necessarily want that to happen anyway. For the time being, we have a select number of weekends that we can come out here, mm -hmm. and we're very grateful for that. I mean, it's still... A huge treat. Well, it's one of those slow and steady processes and we're working with what we can at the time, like what we have and what we have access to and... Limited resources. <laughs> well, we do have limited resources and, and we do sail whenever we can and that is wonderful and we went out just the other weekend. But at the same time, sometimes we, or I at least, need to just come here and and spend the afternoon sitting in the cockpit at anchor. And I think that's okay too. The interesting thing about where we are in the world, we have to take a ferry with our car. We could walk on, but we usually, we drive onto a ferry. We start dinghy on land, but we leave the outboard engine here. So it's always a little bit of a journey. We have to take a ferry, drive to the harbor, get the dinghy, our first time out to the boat is, is a paddle, and then we get the engine, and then we can rip around for a couple days, and then we do all that process in, in reverse. 
Anyway, we're getting better at that process. Yeah, and the reason we keep our dinghy stored and covered on land is because of what happened last summer. <laughs> yeah, we Which... left it we left it in the water last summer with the outboard on it. We had a s older dinghy. Um, anyway, we think the sun got to it. It ended up developing a serious leak and almost sinking. Thank God some of our neighbors saw it and saved it. They tied the uh, outboard to the to the engine or no to the dock to the dock <laughs> and then we hopped on a, the ferry and came over and and pulled it out but anyway we feel now it's safer to just leave it on the shore yeah covered up we have a nice cover for it yeah there's a spot that's designated here for that then yeah yeah it's worked it's worked really well so far and one less one less thing to worry about because that kept us off the boat for a couple months last summer because we just couldn't, couldn't we were trying here. to find a used dinghy and we one of our friends had to take it up from another part of BC and anyway so it's been a huge luxury just not do, to do, just to not do you have to deal with that this summer anyways we have some people coming um, the wasps are out and they are angry they're in their carnivorous phase and it's never a fun phase for us but <laughs> it's not <laughs> Anyway, we have some people coming to visit in very, very soon, so we're excited for that. And yeah, hopefully see what we get up to and explore different places on the island. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey. Do you think he's a baby? Yeah. Hey. Hello. Oh, he's so cute. Heavy? Hard to say. I think. I think so. I think there's one of them. Oh no! Nothing. Nothing today. 
No crabs. Now we wait. CBQ is being used. First time ever. Oh yeah, the CBQ by Dickinson. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice crab. Too. No, so close. Did it fall off? Oh. Should I just chuck it down here and just try and catch it? Might as well. <laughs> I didn't think my shiders were allowed to be They the are view. allowed. <laughs> well, it's the advertisement. You just can't give that away. Are they all This is our first time, believe it or not, using the CBQ, but I forgot my veggie dogs, so. It's a grilled cheese and tomato sandwich for me, which I think is gonna be delicious. And Smokies for the rest. <laughs> Does anyone need anything else? Just your sandwich. Ultimate grilled cheese. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to make it beautiful. Teamwork. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh my goodness! Ready? I'll hold the top. You hold the bottom. This isn't gonna work. No, no, we got it. I have fingers of steel. Woohoo! Look at that! That looks delicious. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Is that okay? You. Perfect. You want to take your sausage? Thank you. I've never seen them smack the water like that. Yeah, they must have been grumpy. Or maybe it wants a spot on the rock and there's no space. Oh. Ah. That's a dungeness crab. <laughs> nice, nice. This is a little guy, you obviously can't keep. Yeah, I think it's a female though, so we can't keep it. Oh, wow. It's a she? Can, can you guys tell that looks like a girl, eh? Yeah, big, wide, triangle. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a Hard female. Hard to tell. But I think that's definitely female. Wow, beautiful Someone crab. Will. 